Hey everybody, we're going to take a quick look at a BVM here, and this one happens to be an AF series made in 2008. It's fully loaded with cards, and if we move around to the front, you'll notice it's already powered on, and it's on one of the main input channels. Now the main purpose of what I'm trying to show you in this video is I want you to see some of the built-in test patterns into a BVM. So this could be another A-series BVM or a D-series or any of the other monitors that are a BVM that is, has this similar controls and has an on-screen menu, then you can use this technique to access some built-in test pattern generators. So why would you want that? Well, if you were gonna buy one of these monitors and you didn't wanna lug along a piece of equipment to actually test it to see what the condition of the monitor is, you can use these test patterns and test a monitor. It's really simple to get into them. All you have to do is have your monitor powered on, like we have this one powered on, and we're just gonna use these inputs on this number keypad up here, and we will go to zero, nine, one to start, and there's a test pattern, which is just a rectangular cube, but if we go to some other channels, we'll find a white screen. So this will show us if we have white and then we can turn the colors off on this side and isolate the colors and see if each color works properly. And then there are other test patterns. For example, a crosshatch pattern that you can use to even calibrate the screen if you'd like. And then there's a dot pattern to help you adjust your convergence. And all that is built in to the control modules on these monitors. So if you have one with a built-in control module, then you can do what we just did and access these. Or if you have an external control module like a BKM 10R or the 11R portable or some of the other R units that were controllers, then you can use those on a monitor that does not have the built-in controls and do the same thing. You can test the monitor, see if it works by using the what we did on the side here for the inputs and just trying to get onto one of these channels. And then once you're done, you can just go back to your main channel and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and if you just want to check out how many hours are on a monitor, it's usually under the status. You press menu, go down to status, press enter, go to page two or three on the status. It'll tell you right here. Whoops. So this one has 6,560 hours on the tube. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time with some more retro content.